In this video, I have a super quick tutorial showing you how to build a multi-strategy graph thinking to build a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. GraphRag, which combines knowledge graph technology with RAG, is a hot spot in the field of large language model applications in the second half of this year. I've been spending a lot of time poking around with GraphRag, and while they're seriously cool, they've got some quirks. One weekend, I built my own knowledge graph by creating nodes and edges, chunking the input document into tokens, recording the entities and relationships contained in each chunk, and utilizing a large language model to generate the output. Knowledge graphs can be fun, but they're often broken. My knowledge graph relies on large language model agents for graph traversal and retrieval, an approach that's sensitive to how the traversal is initialized. It's prone to entity linking errors and may not generalize well to custom. Bring your own knowledge graphs. Many knowledge graphs are full of noisy, outdated, or missing information. It's like trying to navigate using a broken map with wrong street names and missing roads. These systems also struggle with complex questions that require multi-hop reasoning across multiple relationships, especially in large or intricate graphs. Worse, they often ignore other useful sources like text documents, which might contain better answers. When a knowledge graph contains too much information, it can overwhelm large language models, especially those with limited context handling capabilities. These models also struggle with specialized topics like medicine or temporal reasoning, which often require custom retrieval and reasoning strategies. That's where Bring Your Own Knowledge Graph comes in. It combines multiple retrieval strategies, such as entity linking, subgraph retrieval, and cipher query execution, to gather richer and more relevant context. It also employs scoring-based methods to minimize the number of large language model calls while enhancing performance, dynamically fetching relevant graph data, and providing the language model with improved contextual grounding for reasoning. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. I will ask the chatbot a question. What genre of film is associated with the place where Wynton Marsalis was born? If you take a look at how the agent generates the output, you'll see that the agent loads the data from a CSV file and prints out how many nodes and edges the graph contains. It uses a knowledge graph to process the question and lets the LLM decide what entities, paths, and answer candidates are relevant, using the graph schema as guidance. It parses large language model artifacts and uses a fuzzy string matcher, fuzzy string index, to connect the LLM's free text entities to actual nodes in the graph. Next, it uses Entity Linker to match both the entities and the answer candidates back to the graph, ensuring that all reasoning is grounded in real data and agentic retriever, which uses the large language model to intelligently navigate the graph. It starts from the linked entities and selects which relations to follow and path retriever to go beyond individual triplets and follow multi-hop reasoning paths. Finally, it uses Bring Your Own Knowledge Graph to wrap everything together, linking, retrieving, and generating. It takes the question, runs all the necessary steps to gather graph-grounded evidence, and uses the large language model to generate a final answer. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back in. Bring Your Own Knowledge Graph is a framework designed to enhance knowledge graph question answering by integrating diverse external knowledge sources with large language models. It leverages multiple graph retrieval strategies, including entity linking, subgraph extraction, and cipher query execution to gather relevant contextual information from various knowledge graphs. Bring Your Own Knowledge Graph aims to enhance the accuracy, robustness, and generalization of KGQA systems by integrating these retrieval techniques with the reasoning capabilities of LLMs thereby enabling more precise and contextually grounded answers across diverse domains and knowledge bases. As shown in the figure above, the BYO knowledge graph architecture consists of two core components, KG Linker and Graph Retrievers. KG Linker is the core LLM-based component 
of the BYO Knowledge Graph Rag Framework that generates diverse graph artifacts instead of directly traversing knowledge graphs. Given a user query, graph schema, and optional context, it uses a single LLM call to produce four key artifacts, extracted entities from the question, plausible relationship paths connecting those entities, executable graph queries like OpenCypher and draft candidate answers. Graph retrievers are the specialized toolkit in BYO Knowledge Graph Rag that takes KG Linker's generated artifacts and performs actual graph operations on the knowledge graph. It uses four main components. Entity linking maps entities to a graph using string embedding matching. Path retrieval executes relation paths via graph traversal. Graph query retrieval runs executable queries like OpenCypher. And triplet retrieval finds relevant facts through agentic exploration or semantic scoring. BYO knowledge. GraphRag and GraphRag are both frameworks for enhancing knowledge graph question answering, but they differ in design and flexibility. BYO Knowledge GraphRag uses a multi-strategy retrieval approach, combining entity linking, agentic traversal, graph re-ranking, and text-based retrieval that dynamically adapts to different KG structures and question types. It is optimized for zero-shot and few-shot settings, requiring minimal training data, and includes a self-termination mechanism to stop retrieval once enough information is gathered. In contrast, GraphRag relies on supervised or fine-tuned retrievers trained on large labeled datasets to fetch relevant subgraphs in a single static step. While GraphRag can achieve high precision when trained effectively, it is less adaptable to new KGs or question types and often demands higher training costs. Before we dive into our application, we will create an ideal environment for the code to work. For this, we need to install the necessary Python libraries. First, we will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install requirements. Since the demo uses the Claude models, you must first set the Claude API key. The next step is the usual one, where we will import the relevant libraries, the significance of which will become evident as we proceed. We initiate the code by importing classes from the local Knowledge Graph Store class provides an interface to work with the knowledge graph. They used local knowledge graph to manages the knowledge graph data structure. I then read in the data from CSV file, which contains the structured triples, head, relation, tail, that define the knowledge graph. They inspect the graph to extract the schema and calculate basic statistics. Then they focused on the node, Winton Marsalis, and retrieved its direct neighbors using the get one hop edges method. This function returns all the edges connected to the node within one hop. They used Python's random dot sample to randomly select three of these neighboring edges. Finally, I printed out these selected edges to showcase sample relationships connected to Winton Marsalis. They asked question, what genre of film is associated with the place where Winton Marsalis was born? The expected answer was backstage musical. My goal was to enable the system to reason across multiple hops in the graph using semantic understanding from the LLM. They use Bedrock Generator to connect to Amazon Bedrock and uses the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model hosted in the US West 2 region. They build GraphLinker instance that connects the graph data with LLM. The knowledge GraphLinker serves as a bridge between structured knowledge and natural language understanding. I passed in the question, the graph schema, which outlines how entities and relations are organized, and a default message saying no explicit graph context is provided. Encouraging the model to rely on schema-based reasoning, they generate a structured LLM response using generate response, which attempts to extract relevant paths or reasoning steps based on the question, and pass response, which extracted those meaningful artifacts such as entity paths or subgraph structures. They create entity linking pipeline to connect free text mentions from the LLM output back to actual nodes in the knowledge graph. Then they developed the fuzzy matching capability by initializing a fuzzy string index, which builds an index of all the graph node names from the graph store and retrieve a function from this index using as entity matcher, which transforms the fuzzy index into a callable tool for entity resolution. I then created an entity linker 
Using this retriever, the Entity Linker is responsible for converting LLM-generated entities into actual graph node IDs, enabling grounded graph traversal and reasoning. After that, they made Linker process both the entity extraction and draft answer generation artifacts returned by the LLM in the earlier step. These artifacts contain names of entities and answer candidates that need to be matched to graph nodes. By passing them through the link method, next they design triplet retriever that can reason over the knowledge graph by simulating an agent navigating from one entity to another based on the question's intent, and developed agentic retriever which combines an LLM with graph traversal tools. To start, I initialized graph traversal, which gives the system the ability to walk through the knowledge graph starting from a given set of entities. They also built a triplet graph verbalizer, which turns each retrieve triplet head relation tail into a format that the LLM can easily understand and evaluate. Then they create triplet context to retrieve with the original question and the linked entities as starting points. This method returned a set of triplets, each representing a meaningful fact or path that the LLM believes are most useful to answer the question. They create a path-based reasoning system that leverages meta-path structured sequences of relations to dig deeper into the knowledge graph and extract meaningful paths between entities. Then they use path retriever to require both a graph traversal component and a path verbalizer. I reuse the same graph traversal instance from before to walk through the graph and initialize the path verbalizer to convert retrieved paths into human readable form that the LLM can interpret. I generated meta paths from the LLM's output and added shorter versions to capture partial patterns. They then retrieved relevant paths connecting the question entities to potential answers. Finally, they combined these with earlier triplet results and checked if the correct answer backstage musical appeared, marking the retrieval as a success or failure. Finally, they built a full bring your custom knowledge graph RAG pipeline using BioKG query engine, which combines all components, graph store, linkers, and retrievers to handle natural language questions. It retrieves relevant graph context and generates answers. I ran it on the question and checked if the correct answer backstage musical appeared. If found, it's a success, otherwise a failure. BioKG RAG significantly advances knowledge graph. Question answering by integrating multiple retrieval strategies with large language models. Through extensive experiments across diverse benchmarks, it demonstrates superior performance and generalization without relying on training data, highlighting the importance of iterative and multi-strategy graph retrieval methods.